Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. Ding. TNT. You. Uh, so I think we talked about this before that uh, Mike Tyson <laughs> has has uh, a cannabis company. Yeah, he does. And uh, uh, you know, we I think that was a we talked about that a few months ago. Yeah, so yeah. I saw online yeah. that him and a Fander Holyfield are teaming up. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. the in- the whole incident from back in the day where he bit off that mother effer's ear while they were fighting. He didn't bite the ear off. He just nibbled on he it. He bit a, a bit. chunk off of his ear. I mean, he bit a piece of ear off. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I okay. guess you're right. It's not too bad. So he still has his ears. But I guess enough time has passed. Holyfield has has forgiven him because <laughs> he sees dollar signs in his eyes. Yeah, right. That's really he what says. It is. So they are creating a Delta Eight gummy. Called Holy Ears, yep, yep, and yep, they yep, are yep. going to be shaped like ears with a chunk taken out of them. Yep. And I was like, "Oh, now the original concept for this, uh, I thought Mike Tyson was doing it alone, but I guess, uh, I guess Evander Holyfield names all of his businesses, all of his businesses, Holy something. Like he had a record label, and it was called like Holy. Is he like a man of God or something? No, his name is Holyfield. Oh." <laughs> I say it's a Vander Holyfield. Oh, haha. Oh, no, his name's at Holy something. But uh, funny enough, his uh, record label did have some Christian rappers on it. Okay. Um, but yeah, a what lot of Christian his mis- rappers rap about. What they rap about Jesus. Oh, like Kanye. It kind of. They say yes. you can rap about anything yes. except for Jesus. Yeah, you know what I mean? Kind, anyway, sorry. Kind of actually. Jones, don't get me started. I used to listen to a healthy amount of Christian rap back in the day. Okay. Um, back- a healthy or unhealthy amount. <laughs> A healthy amount, <laughs> okay. I would say. I would say a healthy amount. <laughs> there's some there's some quality ones out there. Um, I suggest Grits, uh, Here We Go. Grits, Here We Go. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's actually a classic song. Does he talk about Jesus in his heart? Um, they, they don't, you know, you you wouldn't even be able to tell because it sounds like regular rap music except like every Without once in a while. Without the guns and drugs and hoes and all that? No, they even rap about that, but they'll rap about how they were saved from them. So oh, how, like how, I used to love hoes, but now yeah. I love Jesus. <laughs> yeah. like, I used to do yeah. drugs. I used to, I used to yeah. slang bricks, yeah. but now I build houses, like yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's some there's some Christian rap out there. But regardless, yeah, I guess uh, Mike Tyson. I saw an interview with him, and he said that he would like to share this opportunity. I'm sure probably because like there might have been some legal things in there where Evander Holyfield would have been like, "Wait a minute, how you how are like, you going to monetize our fight without yeah, me getting yeah, mine?" Yeah. So, oh, so I'm sorry, I interrupted you. you. Said Holyfield does holy holy stuff. But yeah, I was just saying it's like uh, so Mike Tyson wanted to, to do it with him. So either way, it's a genius idea. I don't know. I'm not really into like Delta Eight gummies myself. But no, if you... like, well, those are the those are the um the non the not quite weed gummies. Oh. Like the uh, I think or maybe no. I, I guess I didn't read one. That th- he's doing a real cannabis company, so maybe yeah, they are does. true edibles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if they're the yeah. I think Delta Nine is the fake. Either not way, fake, I, but... either way, I know he does have the cannabis company. And yeah, I, I thought this was an ingenious idea like a few months ago when I heard about it. But I'm I am kind of glad that Evander Holyfield's getting a little piece out of it. It also, you know, maybe his maybe his company has something to do with it as well. Maybe that's where the. Uh, who the collaboration come Holyfield's company. Oh yeah, Holyfield well, has a bunch of different companies. And I all wish named I Holy had something. a bunch of different companies. Well, go, go start one. I need to get rich. Start start a single one, Jonas. I need money to do that. Uh, do you? I'm just like, oh, today I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna start a rap label. I'm rich now. Yes, <laughs> let's <laughs> I guess start I'm, a rap label, Jonas. <laughs> I, I'm rich now. I'm your first employee, turn, by the way. You know, we turn me. the whole idea of Crazy Town Media was to start a media conglomerate. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why it's Crazy Town Media and not just something else. There's I mean, many different bubbles. We have the rap se- circuit, the rap yeah, rock we circuit. Do, we got we the do. podcast circuit. We got the yeah. Crazy Town Gaming. Yeah, we got yeah. Media Mox. We have a lot of different things. We, if you want to work under the crazy Crazy Town Media Umbrella, feel free to hit us up, and we will co- talk to you about being part of the organization. Now, we can't offer you any pay up front. <laughs> <laughs> just just give all your time and energy to us, and we will maybe down the road be able to pay you. Look, all we really need to do, Jonas, is go viral, and or you should let me bite one of your ears off. <laughs> Local podcasters <laughs> bite each other's ears off. Yeah, and then we start a company uh, called Crazy Ears. 
crazy town ears, and it's yeah. just it's like people who have bites on their ears they get transplants. Yes, Jonas. Yes, I was going to say it was cocaine gummies, but that works. Cocaine so- gummies. Is yeah, you got to gotta think ahead. Gotta Can you think. ingest cocaine to get know. high off of it? I don't, I don't know enough know. about. I don't know enough about cocaine. No, that'd be no. like it'd be like <laughs> like being like I got got crack muffins for you crack mu- <laughs> crazy ears crack muffins right just I spread, love it it's like you know like when you get like a uh, blueberry muffin and they got that chunk oh, sugar on top I hate you, just, that. you just sprinkle crack it on looks top. like freaking rock salt oh my <laughs> but <laughs> but it's just crack on top dude that. yeah that's what it is uh, rock salt crack on your muffin I actually Jonas this is a great idea yeah sprinkle some crack on it. That's like that's what Dave Chappelle was talking about all those years when he said sprinkle some crack on it. So, um, anyways, but uh, yeah, like I I was kind of blown away that that's what they suggested to do. I get like okay, let, let me let me let me come back for a second. So 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 TNT. Yeah. Me me and you are are, are fighters, right? And, and we decide that we're gonna are fight. We? And we're gonna fight each other for money, right? I'm scared so, to get hit. Well. <laughs> This is a different. This is a different metaverse. Right. In the metaverse, we're Hypothet- boxing. hypothetically speaking. So, in like you know, we're we're not say, say in this scenario, we're not really friends, but we're not enemies, right? We know who each other are, right? Yeah, like, sure. And then we get in a fight, and I bite part of your ear off. We're no longer friends, <laughs> right? Friendship is over so, at that point. I'm sorry. So, at Don't. what point do you become okay that I maimed you for the rest of your life to the point that you mm. will help monetize it with me later? Or does the money help? Is, think, that, is that the catalyst? I'm thinking of around the fifth zero. <laughs> yeah, probably. Once I can make at least $10,000, eh, it's only part of no, my that, year. That's only four zeros, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 zeros. Okay, yeah, yeah five, a million, $100,000. Yeah, so around that fifth zero is when I start forgetting that you bit my ear off. You're like, you know, yeah, you maimed me for the rest of my life, yeah. but yeah, six figures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm pl- honestly, and plus it went down in history. Like, people, they're, the reason that he's making a meme of it, like this meme candy, is because, you know, people remember that moment in history. No one will ever forget that, ever. Yeah, and I Mike mean, Tyson... Pff, Talk about a man that did a complete 360. Like, Kerry Washington came in and just fixed this whole man's life. Because what? this, this uh, she does the, the show where she fixes politicians' lives. Oh, I have no idea who that is. Wait, that's a thing? Yeah. yeah uh, the, uh, what do you call it? Not damage control, but... Uh, P- like PR damage control. Yeah, like a, P- a public relations. So, yeah, d- d- Mike Tyson has done a complete public relations 360. Well, because- I mean, considering he's a convicted rapist... <laughs> People forget about that part. He went to yeah. jail for raping he, someone. He did go to jail for raping somebody. <laughs> and not to mention some other things that he's done in his past. And now he's like, oh, I have a company that does this. And I'm writing like books. And I'm giving TED Talks. And he has a successful podcast. And he's, yeah, uh, yeah, it's kind of nuts. It yeah, is it really nuts. is, man. It like, is if somebody's nuts. out here like, hey, Jared Fogle, he's, he's selling no, gummies. No, no, no. No, no, no. Like, oh, oh my God, what would Jared Fogle's funny gummies be? I can't even talk it's about. Go on, it'd be it's, so it's like funny, it's like it's like Sour Patch Kids. Ah! <laughs> ah, that's a good one. Hope See? that dirty bastard rots in jail for the rest of his life. Oh Become somebody God. else's Sour Patch Kid, if you know what I mean. <laughs> He's melting in somebody's mouth right now. <laughs> no, somebody's melting in his mouth. Oh, he, yeah. Ain't like melting, that. He ain't melting in nobody's <laughs> yeah, mouth. I like that. So. <laughs> somebody's melting in his mouth. <laughs> it was so it's, disgusting. It's funny, though. But, oh, yeah, man. man, like, I just, it's, it's, yeah, I just wonder what Holy, like, obviously that night Holyfield was pissed, right? Like, yeah. I would be really mad if you bit my ear off and we were like in a competitive like event and you're just like, no, I just gnaw your ear off. And I'm like, yeah, what would it take? How long would it be time? Would it be money? That was like 25 years ago, man. It was a long, well, it was a long time. Was it in the ago. 90s? It had to be. If not, it was, it, yeah, it probably was in the 90s. Had, I guess. If Mike Tyson was fighting, Mike Tyson's like 88 years old right now. So, yeah, yeah. So, you I know, time, know, time heals all wounds and money heals them even quicker. Dude. So. I, look, I'm trying to think about like if somebody stabbed me, right? Like non lethally, like stabbed me in the leg or stabbed me like in the side or something. And I didn't like die. trying to kill you. Stabbed you? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna it's gonna what, take se- what? Seven how zeros. much money? Like seven. if they were like, hey, sorry about that, bro. I really still want to be your friend, but I'll give you money. To make up for me stabbing you, I'm really sorry that I stabbed you. Yeah. What amount of money would it take for you to be like, no, I'll let you back into my life, but S- the money. Seven, seven zeros. 
Like a million dollars? Seven zeros. Yeah. So I could Minimal. stab you and then pay you a million dollars and we forget like it ever happened. Um, I mean, you know, once I get out of rehab, you know, once I, you know, once I can find out if I can walk again, <laughs> it all depends. How, like how, how, like how long were you in the hospital? Yeah. How long, how did it affect you? Like, it's like you stab me in the leg and I limp for a couple weeks and I'm good. Like yeah. it may not take a million, but you stab me in the stomach. I spend like a month in ICU. Yeah. If like, I'm like pooping out of, pooping out of a bag, dude, then we got an issue still. Okay. Prime. But seven zeros is definitely going to lubricate the situation. <laughs> Anyways, go to tracer.com. We're out of time for Jonas. TNT. Yep.